baby, it has happened. Your man is a Sony shooter. The wait is finally over. The Sony A7 IV is now in my hands and I could not be more excited to use it. All right, let's start from the beginning. So I've always been an APS-C crop sensor shooter, but I've also had experience with full frame, just didn't have the budget to move up to full frame. So I've been using the Canon 80D as you see right here. Still comes out very crisp, very clear, but what I noticed was, especially when it came to video, I was starting to lack and kind of fall behind a lot of my counterparts and just the industry in general. Not to say that you can't still do great work with a crop sensor camera, I just felt that I have now reached the limitations of the gear and the equipment that I had. Now why Sony? That's an even better question. So I am a hybrid shooter with more so an emphasis on video. In my experience, it has been the best in terms of being able to have the best low light capabilities without having to absolutely destroy your video. Speaking of which, let's open this bad boy. Yeah, buddy. So nice. Has such a great feeling in the hand. Flip out screen. I, I saw somebody that reviewed it and said they didn't like the flip out screen. You need the flip out screen. I don't care who says they don't need it, they need it. Yo, this is nice actually. <laughs> And now with this in my hand, let's talk about some of the reasons why I upgraded to the a7 IV. First off, we've got continuous shooting, no time limit for video, so it's great for long form interviews. Another reason why I chose the a7 IV over the a7C upgrade is because yes, they both have the new upgraded color science, but the a7C had the older menu system, whereas this one has the updated one, a lot more simplified, a lot easier to get through, especially if you're somebody who's not maybe used to shooting with Sony, the menu is a lot easier to get through and a lot easier to understand. All right, let's talk specs real quickly. So it's got a 33 megapixel sensor, which is a big upgrade from my AVD. For video, we've got up to 120 frames, 1080, Yes, it has 4K capability as well. The 4K 60 is gonna be cropped, but let's talk about that for a second because for a lot of people, that seems to be a huge deal breaker. Um, for me, it's not that big of a deal because I'm already coming from an, uh, a crop sensor body. So, like I said earlier, as long as you understand what the limitations are to your gear, you can really make the best out of it. All right, let's talk money. So just the body only, this A7 IV was 3,500 after tax, Canada, Ontario, HST. That's something we just gotta deal with. If you are a hybrid shooter, in my opinion, this is gonna be the best option for you um, in terms of having high quality video, especially with good low light performance and a very decent sensor for you to be able to really get crisp photo. Obviously you have to factor in glass, especially when it does come to the sharpness of photos. But with this sensor, you're starting at a very, very good base. And then you can kind of build up with the level of glass that you have to put on your body. And speaking of glass, I went ahead and got myself the Tamron uh, 28 to 75. For a hybrid shooter, it's a great range. You can kind of get a little bit of everything done with it. But yeah, if you're thinking about picking up the a7 IV, and you're a hybrid shooter, honestly, I would I would pull the trigger on this one. Thanks again for walking through the A7IV with me. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I'll have more videos coming out this year because it's a new year, 2022. We're, we're trying to start out hot. All right, so thank you for joining me. It's King the Dream. We'll talk to you soon. Happy shooting. Peace.